All right, we're going to switch gears a little bit and bring it back on home because Monday morning, waking up as a Lions fan is feeling pretty good. It was Saturday night right there. Ford Field was rocking as the Lions really trounced the Denver Broncos and puts them in a very, very good position. So our Lions Kool-Aid corner picks it up from here. They're plotting the playoffs now. All right, so a week ago, we hit the panic button, right? The <laughs> Lions had lost two of three. I remember it they exploded bad. right on the table. Yeah, it exploded right there. <laughs> In the seven days since, the Packers have lost twice. The Vikings have blown a 14-point fourth-quarter lead and lost, and the Lions dominated the, the Broncos. So are we just back? Are we just happy? Every, all worries gone? That's basically how I drew it up, boys. I mean, I pretty much <laughs> planned this whole thing. I knew it was going to happen, and I, I told you guys, if they beat the Broncos, we're back in. Everything's going to be fine, and they showed up, and honestly, Get that panic button back out and throw it out the window, Ben. Yeah. We're back, baby. Let's go. I feel much better. Uh, <laughs> last week was rough for me personally. I don't know about the rest of you, but like now I, I'm, I'm okay. Um, seeing, seeing them do that to the Broncos made me feel okay about, you know, what's to come. So I'm Kari good. woke up this morning. Food tasted better. Oh, yeah, the man, sun was on, shining. <laughs> every, every, everything was bright and yeah. great. So, yeah, I'm back. I mean, I never thought they were going to blow the division, but I'm still worried about that first playoff game and if it's the Rams that come in here. However, I feel 100% better about the defense. It kind, not that they would have ever taken my advice. My wild theory was that, you know, let's just start throwing. First of all, they changed, shook the lineup up, which made a difference too. Glad to see they noticed that was a problem and then just started taking a few more chances. One negative play in the middle of a drive can basically derail that drive, and it happened over and over to the Broncos. One sack, one tackle for loss. It was great to see them take chances on D and shake it up. I said last week that this Broncos game was going to be a giant test for the playoff game. I needed They were regressing, and I needed to see them play at a, at a high level like they were in the beginning of the year. I needed to see that with an electric crowd, that defense could rise to the occasion. Otherwise, I would have had no confidence going into a playoff game. And uh, they, they rose to the occasion. What is it with them playing night games? I hope our playoff game is at night because right. they just smoke people at night. But I wanted them to, right before the game started, I said, I want us to look like Dallas when they play a really good team at home. Just kick their butts. And that's what the Lions yeah. did. And now the hope is back. I believe again, I'm ready. And I think, I think we're going to get a division championship for on Christmas Eve for all of Detroit. It's yeah. set up so perfectly. That is true. It's just, it's right there. That's what's going to happen. Slightly disappointed it took them forever to figure out just run the ball, but I'm still fine. <laughs> Tonight, if the Eagles win, the Lions clinch playoff spot. But if the Seahawks win, the Lions control their own destiny for the number two seed. So that's pretty easy, right? We're rooting for, for the enemy, for Seattle, right? I think so too, yeah. It's tough. I hate those guys. I know. <laughs> no, we got to get that second seed. That second seed should be what we're aiming for right now. Super important that Jared Goff doesn't have to go on the road to Philadelphia in January. Or Dallas. To play, or, or da well, at least that would be indoors. But if, if Jared Goff has to play outdoors in January in Philadelphia in the playoffs, it's a wrap. All right, so if you had your choice of first-round matchups for the Lions, would it be Stafford? Would it be one of the division rivals? Would I be... say bring Stafford yeah. here. How <laughs> awesome will it be? Okay, I know you're scared to death of it, but I say just do it, man. I want, I want, I want all of it. I love the storyline, and I would be rooting like hell for Goff to get revenge on the team that right. traded yeah. him. Uh, but still, it's that's the scariest just option because if we were to lose that, I mean, it would just be uh, soul crushing. Uh, it <laughs> would feel like it would set the franchise back five years. Can you imagine <laughs> Stafford comes home and beats us in the playoffs yeah. in our first division dead. home game? But, but that's the yeah. obstacle you have to you have to beat to get your playoff win yeah. is just too perfect. Also, he also drives a, a, a pickup truck of toys to uh, Toys for Tots every year. And then he's just going to come back and, and, and show us the what. All Lions no fans case. ever wanted was for Stafford to have a playoff game in Ford Field. So this is how we finally get it, right? Beat Stafford in the first round and beat Patricia in the second round, right? Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, last week we were hitting the panic button. This week we're on clinch alert tonight. So whew, how fast things can change. <laughs> Oh, yeah, throwing the panic out the window. Of course, the Lions are taking on the Vikings at Minnesota on Christmas Eve, 1 p.m. Something to do with the whole family.